10 by 10 by Pony Bradshaw is going to be played in standard tuning and then you're going to capo on the 3rd fret of the guitar. Uh, there are some live versions of him playing on the 2nd fret. The album version is capoed 3rd fret. Also the album version of this uh, is pretty quick with tempo. Most of the live versions are much slower with tempo. I think that what I was doing in the intro to this tutorial was somewhere kind of in between. Uh, so once you capo on the third fret, I will be speaking of these chords and frets as though the capo is the nut, calling them shapes like C, even though this technically would be an E flat. So um, the song is going to begin on a C chord. The way that you make this is ring finger on the six string three fret, pinky finger on the five string three fret, second finger on the four string two fret, open three string, first finger on the two string one fret, and an open one string. Inside of this chord, sometimes your second finger will be coming off of the fretboard to expose the open uh, four string, and you'll be hammering on with your second finger back down onto four string second fret, getting that feel. Sometimes maybe a pull off, like a strum pull off, sometimes a strum hammer on. So the C chord. And there's just a real kind of lazy strumming pattern here. Up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And I mean, it's not really consistent the whole time. It's just more of a feel. Kind of practice that feeling down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down. So it's again, it's not really necessarily consistent the whole time. Um, C chord to a B7 chord. The way that we're going to play this: second chord of the song, second finger on the five string two fret, first finger on the four string one fret, ring finger on the three string two fret. You'll have an open two. Sometimes an open one can be heard, and then sometimes I feel like he might have his pinky finger on the one string two fret. The second chord of the song, then it's going to go to an E minor. And the E minor is an open six string, second finger on the five string two fret, ring finger on the four string two fret, open three, open two, open one. Then to a G chord. finger on the 6th string 3 fret, 2nd finger on the 5 string 2 fret, open 4, open 3, open 2, pinky finger on the 1 string 3 fret. And then that's going to repeat C to the B7 to the E minor. And that's your verse. On the last round of the verse, 
everything kind of is building on this G chord. And the chorus will, the last round of the verse, everything is building on that G chord, and then the verse will walk down to the E minor by going G, F sharp, E minor. So you would move out of the G by moving your second finger to the sixth string, two fret. E minor. Whenever you hit the E minor, it's kind of like a big down up. And then your strumming pattern will just return to that lazy strumming pattern. But every now and you, every now and then you'll hear that emphasize kind of like down up. So the chords on the chorus is the E minor to a G chord, same G chord as before, to the C chord. Here you can hear that kind of hammer on with your uh, second finger hammering to the four string two, uh, four string two fret. To the E minor, to the G, to the C. And the second time through it holds a C that second finger lift off of the fretboard and kind of get a down up um, and up down up and then down and the hammer back down that second finger sound like this and then you get a little riff that's going back into the verse what the riff is is coming back to the E minor chord you can hit that with a down strum or an up strum, just depending on where you're at in your strumming pattern, but it's going to go one quick hit on the E minor, then move your second finger to the uh, five string, to the six string two fret. So I'm playing, I'm playing that right now as a down and an up. And whenever you're coming back up, you're not really wanting for like every string to be ringing out. What you're really emphasizing here is Open six, six two, six three, five two, five open. That's what the riff is, but you're kind of courting it a little bit. So you see me out of the E minor, second finger to the six string two fret, then I bring my ring finger into G G position, and I put my second finger down on that five string two fret. So I'm hitting the sixth string, and then my pick is going to move, and I'm going to try to more clearly articulate the five string two fret, and then open up the five string by lifting my second finger. And notice that I'm still kind of keeping some G shape with my ring and pinky fingers here. And then it falls into that C chord. back to the B7 and then the E minor to the C chord and then another verse and it just it repeats like that um, there's a couple of parts of the song where the C holds for slightly longer periods of time before going into the that part and I would encourage you to just play along with the album recording to get that uh, there is a solo break that takes place over just the verse progression. And then after the last chorus, after that last chorus progression, he kind of sings another chorus, but he's doing it over the verse chords. That's what it does. Um, those are the chords and the movements to 10 by 10 by Pony Bradshaw. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.